Hi, my name is Derek Fahey. I'm a patent and trademark attorney with the Plus IP firm. And this is gonna be a brief video on steps for developing your product or your invention. So first off, again, my name is Derek Fahey, registered patent attorney. We help clients all the time develop their invention. So we see this a lot. The first thing you should be doing is writing your invention down on paper. If you're not serious enough to write your concept down on paper and flesh out your idea, you probably are not gonna to wanna to develop your invention. So write it down, draw some sketches. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece, but just get some information down on paper. It also helps you flesh out your ideas and get to cre and gets the creative juices flowing. So that's the first step, write your invention down. Then after you kinda of know the main parts of the invention, then you should actually do some Google searching and see if you can actually find some of the elements of your invention online. See if you can actually find the product you're looking to actually create online. If you can, that's a good sign. Um, because if you can't, then you may want to consider doing what's called a prior art search. A prior art search, spelled two words, prior, P-R-I-O-R, New word, art, A-R-T, prior art, is a search for everything that's existing um, to see if you can get a patent on the invention. So a prior art search or a patent search is important to get done professionally by a patent attorney like myself um, to see if you can get a patent on the invention. Because in some cases, you may not actually wanna move forward with developing the product or concept if you cannot get a patent on the invention. So um, that's step two. I think do some searching to see what else is out there. Just on a side note, you don't actually need a patent to get to, or to develop an invention. So you don't always need a patent to develop an invention, but it does provide a huge legal benefit. It allows you to exclude others from making, using, and selling the invention. So many people find it very useful. So something to think about. So let's say you, um, you have done the search, you wrote your stuff down, what's the next step? Well, the next step I recommend is to actually do some market research. See if the product you're making would actually make sense. Maybe a $10,000 doggy toy would not be viable for the marketplace. I don't know, but you should do some market research to see what you're looking to sell. Your invention actually would, be, would make commercial sense. And what I tell clients sometimes is, it doesn't matter what I think, what, that, what doesn't matter what you think, what matters is the consuming public. Is the consuming public gonna buy the invention, okay? That's step three, do some market research. Then after that, I recommend if you can, protect the invention. Try to figure out how you can exclude others from actually making, using, or selling it. Sometimes you actually can get a patent on the invention and you can actually stop other people from selling it if you're able to get a patent. There are other ways to actually protect the invention as well, which I'm not gonna go through today, but try to protect as much as possible the concept that you're creating. What I like to say is if you, like, if you have nice stuff, people are gonna to wanna to use it. So, something to think about. The next step I typically recommend is to actually, if you can, try to build a prototype to see if people actually like it. Um, again, building a prototype is not actually necessary if you are actually trying to get a patent but if you're trying to validate the invention, you probably would need a prototype, put it in someone's hands to see if it works, to see if they like it, et cetera. So try to, ev to evaluate and validate the invention by building a prototype. So, in recap, those are the main parts of getting the invention. Write it down, do a patent search and see if it's patentable. Try to protect it with, um, if you can. Do some market research to see if people would buy the product. Validate the invention to see if actually people are gonna to wanna to buy it. So, hope you enjoyed the video, hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call. The number is gonna be on the screen below or in the comments. Our website is www.plusfirm.com. My name is Derek Fahey, I'm a registered patent and trademark attorney with the Plus IP firm. We help people develop inventions all the time. You can follow me on Instagram as well, Derek Fahey, PA. If you have any questions, please reach out to me any way you want to. Email address is Derek at plusfirm.com, D-E-R-E-K at plusfirm.com. Looking forward to hearing from you and hearing about your great ideas and inventions. Have a great day.